If you like Emily Blunt, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. You know, you're the one who said that you don't really care about this stuff. And um, you don't really care about fashion. You, you just want to be a journalist. I and what a part of baller! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. He's a very keen fisherman, so he asked us Water. if we would... Sorry? Water must chat with Talbot H2O. Salmon Fishing in the Yemen is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Lass Hallstrom and stars Ewan McGregor, Emily Blunt, Kristen Scott Thomas, and Amr Wackett. This sweet little romance with an unusual premise sees a fisheries scientist getting an even more unusual request from a businesswoman, bring sports fishing to Yemen. With the goal of improving Middle Eastern connections, he joins the team and falls for the beautiful Harriet as the two figure out how to solve the case. Do you want sparkling or still? Not for me, for the fish. To save us both a lot of time, let me keep this brief and simple. Here, it's very cold. It rains a lot. Mm. Here, it's very hot. You're pointing to Saudi Arabia, Dr. Jones. Number nine. I live above the swan. The pub. You live in a pub? Yeah. My Summer of Love is a drama film directed by Powell Palakowski and stars Natalie Press, Emily Blunt, and Patty Considine. These lovers are not only separated by societal standards, but by their different classes. One woman is working class, one upper class, and they have no chance of getting to know each other. But luckily they do, and their bond is strengthened by their similar dysfunctional families. With an affair that enters dangerous territory, their relationship is threatened. My brother, he found God. Our God found him. He's been born again. And pub now is more like, not so much a place to drink as a place to pray. Anyway, they're having born again bingo or something, so I thought I'd bob off. Number eight. Are you wearing the, sh the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. You look good. Like most comedy dramas based on novels, The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger is a roaring success as both a book and a movie. Directed for the big screen by David Frankel, the plot weaves the story of a young and smart graduate that lands herself the job of an assistant to the demanding editor-in-chief of a high fashion magazine, Miranda Priestly. With Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway in the leading roles, the film co-stars Emily Blunt, Adrian Gurnier, and Simon Baker. Do you know what really just kills me about this whole thing? It's the clothes that you're gonna get. I mean, mm. You don't deserve them. You eat carbs, for Christ's sake. Go on. So unfair. Number seven. You know, I've never allowed myself to be that way. But once I felt, even for a moment, what I felt with you. The Adjustment Bureau is a 2011 science fiction romantic drama directed by George Nolfi and starring Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, and Lisa Thornson. In New York, the noted politician David Norris is disputing a recent Senate election. Unfortunately, he is a captive of his playboy. He then meets and falls in love with ballet dancer Elise and falls in love with her. However, a mysterious group of men contrives to keep them apart. You ruined me. I didn't want to settle for less. I know the feeling. It scares the shit out of me. I'm not going to hurt you. Number six. There's nothing to rival an English garden. Of all my life in Kensington, it's the only part I miss. Directed by Jean-Marc Vallée, this 2009 drama with Emily Blunt, Rupert Friend, and Paul Bettany tells the story of the turbulent first years of the reign of Queen Victoria, who was crowned at the age of 18 and got caught up in the political machinations of her own family. While she fights at the English court with envious intriguers and those who want to trip her of her newfound power, she meets Prince Albert, the man who will become the love of her life. You're moving. Now you're smiling. <laughs> Impossible, you're worse than him. Number five. A Quiet Place Part 2 is a horror film directed by John Krasinski and stars Emily Blunt, 
Killian Murphy, Millicent Simmons, and Noah Jupe. Following the instantly iconic surprise hit, A Quiet Place Part II dives deep into the world of the post-apocalypse. Giving the mysterious events that led to the end of human civilization a backstory, Part II expands on its lore with more knowledge about the infamous blind creatures and the functioning of the few remaining societies, and of course, the bloody monster gore fans have waited for. Number 4 You couldn't scare a retarded hobo with that thing, literally. This is a Remington 870. Yeah, that's telling. You're holding a gun. I say I'm not afraid, so you describe the gun to me. Looper is a science fiction action film written and directed by Ryan Johnson and stars Bruce Willis, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Emily Blunt. This true modern sci-fi gem proves itself in shining through its clever twists and deep character arcs. In the near future, gangs use time machines to send people they want to be dead back in time, so assassins in the past are paid to kill them. But when the time has come, the assassins themselves are taken out of the game, till one of them refuses to die. Yeah, that's my house. Why is it marked? Okay, doesn't matter. Look, I'm gonna be out of the barn in an hour. This Water. number, how'd you get this? That mean something to you? Number three. I can still feel the weight in my arms. Small, but so heavy. A Quiet Place is a 2018 science fiction horror film directed by John Krasinski and stars him with Emily Blunt. In the modern spine chiller, a group of four must explore their lives peacefully after totally blind monsters with ultra-sensitive hearing compromise their survival. The family must remain undetected and learn to remain silent while hiding from lurking monsters. Speak and you're hunted. Make a noise and you're dead before you can blink. If we can't protect them, who are we? You have to protect them. Promise me. Number two. Get your service weapon out. Gun. Gun. Gun left. Sicario is a 2015 action thriller film directed by Denis Villeneuve and stars Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro, Josh Brolin, and Victor Garber. In the rebellious outskirts extending between the U.S. and Mexico, a quixotic FBI operator is enrolled by an elite government team tasked with fighting the growing war against drugs. Driven by a confounding advisor with a flawed past, the group sets out on a stealthy excursion, compelling Kate to address everything that she has confidence in, just to survive. FBI! Are you hit? I'm good. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Because I was told you didn't have a girlfriend. What? You told Jim Van Wagenen to double it. Well, shit, Joanne, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, and if I did, it'd be classified, and I'd wonder where you got your information on the subcommittee. Oh, what do you care, hon? It just broke my, my heart, and so it got really sad, and then, um, and then the, the booze just, uh, broke us. Well, then why wasn't he in school? Are you gonna let me tell a story? Or are you gonna drive me crazy? Well, maybe he didn't go to school because he had the ACD. Sorry. Number one. Edge of Tomorrow is a 2014 science fiction action film directed by Doug Lehman and stars Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. When a vengeful alien race attacks Earth, Major William joins a team on a potential suicide mission to fight back. While fighting one of the aliens, he's exposed to a strange substance that allows him to come back to life every time he dies. Will William and Rita be successful in defeating the aliens using his new powers? He said to find you when I wake up. You do know what's happening to me. Come with me. Now. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. 
And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.